Hello and welcome to Path of Exiles. Um, this series is basically going to try to help people that are new to the game. They've just completed all the acts, the chapters of the game, 1 through 10. They've killed Katava and they're ready to get into mapping. And one thing to note, and you, it's easy to miss, but when you kill Katava the, after the first Act 5 and Act 10, uh, you get a total of minus 30 and minus 30 to your resistances. And people uh, overlook that, and all of a sudden they get into mapping, and they're killed really fast, and they don't understand why. Well, it's that minus 30 penalty that happened, and all of a sudden you're taking um, elemental damage a lot harder than you're used to, and you're getting crushed. Um, so a couple of good rule, a few good rules of thumb are when you're about to go into mapping, and we're going to explain it from scratch in detail slowly so you guys, I'm not going to try to skip over anything. Um, a good rule of thumb is to have 300 health per act. Well, I've got 3,000, and I'm in, I just completed Act 10, so 3,000 is okay for just starting maps. It's actually nice. It's, a, it's comfortable. The other thing you're going to want to have is go to your, bring up this sheet, go to your defense tab, and look right here. You want to have this to say resistance to 75 for fire, cold, and lightning. And if you don't have this, and you don't have this, there's a few ways you can adjust it. And the easiest ways are, there's three, but the easiest ways is to go into your <laughs> into your atlas tree, which you're uh, comfortable with by now, and type in, let's say, life. And it's going to start highlighting all the things with life on it. And you may be over here, and there's plenty of things with life on it. But you're going to want to probably refund some of your passives out of offense and get this defense a little higher and you know i wasn't there so it was that important to me to get my defense or my life up and i'm playing solo self found so i can't even trade with people it's difficult for me so i wanted this life so i'm going to end up if i'm too squishy i'm going to keep taking these life nodes and then if you want to do resistances there's some re here's an example of a resist resistance and resistance is, if you type that in, it'll highlight, you know, where you can go pick up fire and cold and lightning on the map. And, and even these, like, that's a plus 10 to all. That's one way to do it. And that's an important way, and it shouldn't be overlooked. A lot of people go in, and they've taken all these um, offensive nodes, and they get killed. So the, to switch that up, take ease up on the offense, go a little defense, and you'll have a smoother time. The next way is to come over to your crafting bench. I'm in the, in the hideout, and you want to check your defenses in your hideout, your stats. Come up to your crafting bench, and just go through your items. Take take that ring off, or take this off. And let's say we were low on, um, we were low on fire. Well, I could scour that off. I could just scour that off right now. Let's see, I could just go down to here. There's scouring. So I could remove the crafted mod. Let's say I have too much lightning, but I'm short on fire. I could scour that off, or I could do it in one move by using the scout. This will allow me to swap it to fire resistance. And you have a couple of choices here. You could do the easy one, or the cheap one, and it would only cost a scour and a transmute, or you could use an alchemy and get the next level up. And I could do that, because I think those are the cheap ones that I put on there. But I could up it. But I'm in good shape. And then do that with each part, each, all these, and see if you can get it. Let's say you're, um, let's say you're in good shape with all your resistances, but your life is low. Go ahead and throw life on there. Or let's say you're good with all those, but you need a little more strength or dexterity to equip a certain item. Go ahead and do that now, and you're going to get really, you're going to get gear that's going to have all kinds of really great stats on it. Like these boots, these aren't bad. That's um, 35 fire resistance, 40 lightning resistance. You're going to get better and better and better gear as time goes on. And you won't have that kind of pressure. You'll be able to meet those minimum requirements. And then you can then you can um, focus more on offense as you go up and up and up. So that's, one, uh, that's the one way to figure it out. And then you could also trade with people. Um, Trading is a more complicated thing, and I won't explain that in detail, but you can look on the trade site and trade with people to get really good gear, and you can get it for so cheap. It, it, really good. But that's another video. <laughs> so
So here we are, we're at the thing, we're ready to go into maps, and what is going to happen, you will be... We're going to go to the epilogue, and I'll play it just like you guys are. I haven't even started maps, I haven't even stepped foot in, I wanted to wait to start this process out. You're in here, and you've killed Katava, and you start over here. And I just brought this map up. And then you go talk to Lily, and and then it says, go over here. But then you got, it's, it's really easy to miss this tunnel. You walk all the way over here, and you finally found this thing. <sighs> this area. And it says to talk to Kirik. Now, I just talked to him a second ago, and he, he offered us these maps. All right. So we're just going to do it. We've met the requirements. We're in. We have 3,000 health. Um, we've got our defenses up. And not only that, but a, another good thing is have some movement speed on those boots. Because it's going to make it really a lot more comfortable to play the game when you're when you're moving fast. It's all, I don't know anybody that doesn't have movement speed on their boots. Unless there's some kind of uh, other build. But movement speed is a beautiful thing. <laughs> so, it offers us these maps. And there's a very good chance, like right here, these are all un-ID'd. There's a good chance that you've found some maps already. And these are all Tier 1 maps. And you want to pick one that you don't have, so it's a really good trick to go into get go in here and if you have a map tab they'll be there as long as you've gone to maps and right clicked on it and pushed the affinity key all your maps will get put in there automatically so we're going to go to our first one here yours might look something like this <laughs> let's see yours might look like something like this and it'll just be a bunch of maps in here just look through there and find the maps you're missing and this is this this is why the map tab is so nice, because I can switch to tier two, three, all these different tiers, and it just tells me right here. Do I have all the look I'm missing? I have one of those, two of this, two of those, but I'm missing this one, the bone crypt. So we're going to pick the bone crypt from him. That's one trick already. Instead of just taking any random one. Bone crypt right there. There's the other ones. We'll take it. Cool, we've done that thing. Now, we've got to identify it because it's unidentified. And we have to run each of these maps in this tier to get credit for the map being done and to award a point because there's there are going to be points to spend as well. Oh boy, you're going to love this stuff. There's going to be points to spend. Um, it has to be ran um, not as a... a a white map but as at least a magic level map so we look at that and then when we, if it's not if it's a white one we just transmute it into magic it a minimum you could you could run it as rare map as well but it might be a little difficult so we're just going to look at what it what the modifications for this map are for the for the uh bone crypt it's going to have 15 percent more monsters um Monsters have 30% increased accuracy, and the players have minus 10 to the amount of suppressed spell damage. Sometimes you'll see something like minus 10, like you could have something like reflect. That's a really bad one. Let's say you're a fi um, fire mage, and you're shooting fireballs at everything, and it says map reflects um, <laughs> elemental damage. If you go in there without re-rolling it, if you go in there, you're going to end up getting killed right away. You'll... <laughs> You'll hit a, a monster, and within a, sh a fireball or two, you'll be dead. And you're like, what killed me? It's that map mod. So in this case, let's say it had had fire reflect on there, and I didn't want that. I would just use a or orb of alteration and reroll it. Monsters gain that. But you see the, um, the quantity went down. All that went down because there's not as many mo modifications on the map, so it's easier. So they don't give you as much stuff. That's okay. And you can re-roll it as many times as you want. It just costs that each time you re-roll it. So we're going to go in and do the map. Here we go. And after you do your first map, you're going to get it unlocked for your hideout. So you're only going to do one map this way in here. And then you're going to work from your hideout from here on out. You won't even hang out over there. Because your hideout, you get to put this where you want. You get to arrange all your vendors around you. Your stash is right there. You're crafty. It's... A good place to hang out and do all the things you're going to do. So let's do this. <laughs> oh boy. This thing opens and it might be a little overwhelming. We're going to ignore all this for now. 
we're going to ignore all this. We're even going to ignore that. We're just going to put this in here and we're going to run our first map. And then I'll explain this after we clear it. Um, the important thing is, if like right now, if I hold Alt over that, it tells me that the Atlas map is incomplete and the bonus objective has not has also is incomplete. Once we can successfully do this map and kill the boss, on this magic level map, we will get all the points for it and that'll become, it'll turn green. Complete, complete. So let's activate it. And we get six tries to complete this, meaning six. if we die six times, then we... And we don't kill the boss, we fail. We shouldn't die, though. <laughs> there it is. Six of them open. It doesn't matter which one you walk into. And let's just walk in here. We're going to go into the Bone Crypt. And this is... We're just going to fight like we normally do. All right, I'll put my map back on, and I'll turn it on bright for everybody to see it. And I want to kill... I want to kill a lot of creatures in here. I don't want to just rush the end of the boss. I want to have fun and kill all these things. So let's do that. And I'm looking around. So far, so good. I'm a minion build. This was uh, me trying out minions for the first time. My gear is uh, objectively terrible. Um, I only have a four link. Um, it's just bad. I mean, if I was on Trade League, I could have a six link, a six link weapon here, all decked out, all kinds of support gems. It's not the case. So you'll be objectively better off than I am. And let's see if we can not die. I just want to make sure that I don't stand in fire. I don't uh, get snuck up on and attacked. And I'm just clearing here, making sure I see everything. Now, there might be some I, down here and over there. I see a little expedition symbol pop up there. So that's going to be interesting. We'll do that as well. And that's the thing. Maps are going to have... Uh, they have a chance to spawn all kinds of content for free. <laughs> and you could also customize it we're going to get into that to have stuff that you want in there um what does that mean when i say have stuff that you want in there let's say you want to have expedition in every map you like that content or you like delving or you like um uh the vault the the temple or heist you can you're going to be able to tailor your end game to meet the needs to make the end game how you want it to be. It's really an amazing system. We'll pick up this to for a little for a reason. I'm gonna wait till these all get synced up so that I can just raise all the levels at once. So I'm just jumping through here. And I'm taking my time. Whoa, you see those guys hurt me because they spike and explode. Or orbs of alteration, I'll take those. I use a lot of them. Oh I don't like those spiky guys. I have almost no armor, <laughs> which is odd. Oh, and I'm just going to hit all these, just like this. Level all those things up. I'm leveling gems in my off-end weapons and uh, trying to get their levels up as well. Looks like the expedition stuff is around the corner. And I can just go this way. And we're just taking our time. I'm not going too fast. I'm talking. It's a little hard to talk and do this stuff at the same time, but we're getting there. Easy. I heard a map drop. That's a... um item filter. If you have some questions about that, I can answer in the comments. I'll explain how to do that. We have an item filter that's special. Um, goes to game and I have a bunch of them. You could you could default worst case scenario, but I have it on semi strict on a item filter that highlights things and makes all those sounds and it helps me. <laughs> it's very helpful. It's hiding a lot of the junk on the ground that I do not want. So I'm looking around here briefly. And I'm just going to, I'm not even going to read these things. You, you might want to, because let's say you're a, a fire mage again, and all of a sudden something that will be highlighted that says, monsters do not take fire damage. Well, you don't want to do that. <laughs> That'd be bad. We're just going to slap that down for now. I'm not going to go into detail on all these other, uh, um, all these other features in the game, because they're their own video in themselves. We're just going to do this stuff as we come to it. Oh, we get five bombs now. We'll put the fifth bomb down. And we'll detonate this off. And away we go. Drop all my guys down. Easy. He's trying to hurt me, I think. Ooh, that's a really good drop right off the bat. That's an X, but that's worth probably a good chunk of... That's my, maybe worth 5, 10, 15 chaos. Maybe more. 
Just that right there. Ooh, and we got some interesting things here. Those are probably influenced items, meaning maybe fractured. Oh, oh, this is kind of a serious fight. I actually have to pay attention a little bit. Are my minions dying? Oh, wow. My, uh, my zombie actually died. My, um, that's the first time I've seen my, um, my minions die. They don't really usually die, and they actually died there. Even my, uh, my carrion, my rat guy died. There must be something over here that's pretty powerful. Okay, that was odd. Let me get my... Oh, let's get take him out. Usually my minions have not died up until this. This is the first time, so you can see the ramping up in uh, power. I guess I'll get my... I'll take some random specters back, um, which is kind of odd. There, I'll get three specters back up. There, and we're back up to full power. I'll take the stack deck. We're going to open these. That's the currency for the expedition that I can spend with Rog and those guys. And I'll take those because I need them. Because you can sell those for wisdom scrolls. Because I use a lot of wisdom scrolls. And we'll open up this one. And I'm looking at the map and we can kind of continue on. But I'm not going into detail on this individual content. We're just trying to get through the map. Do it nicely. Not die. <laughs> the other thing is... If I do die, I'm going to lose 10% of my level, so that's like two bars. If you're right here, don't do a really hard map. Try to finish out the level and lock it in. Because then, if I died and I'm only right here, it's no big deal. Not You know, I die here, there's it's nothing. But if I went through here and I die a couple times, now it's a big setback. But if I can just take an easier map and lock in the next level, that'll be the way to do it. Okay, moving on. Let's uh, level this up. And there we go. And there we go. Look at that. I actually take damage, too. That's, I'm not used to taking damage. Come on. I shouldn't be jumping in the middle of these guys. I don't like that guy. <laughs> so this guy is kind of scuffed, but uh, he's doing well enough, I guess. And was there something that dropped? Oh, it, it, one of those coins dropped right over here. That's, thing. That's Neversink, who uh, actually makes this really good um, item filter loot filter and where'd he go I'll take this as well so we're just looking for the boss at this point we still have more than 50 monsters in here and I don't mind the exp that I'm getting from them and I also don't mind all the loot in here too because as you wow as speaking of and I'll take all that and look for it because it's um it's actually um I'll identify it real quick. It has fractures on it, and that, that matters for, for a reason. Right now, I'm, I've got too much stuff on me, so I'm just going to jump in. And then I'm going to press... There's a shortcut key right up to my hideout. And see how... This is where my map device is, but you can't see it yet because I haven't unlocked it. That's funny that it shows the portals there. We're going to just... We're, this is called depoting, meaning I'm just dumping this in here to look at it later. I'm not going to, you know, spend time now. Then I just jump back in. I look at that later after the map or something. I want that for a reason. And we're going to continue on. I don't think we have any... Did we already fight the boss? We might have. No. It would say that. <laughs> I'm like, did I fight the boss and accidentally kill him? Sometimes that happens if you got a really strong build. Is this... What am I... I haven't found the boss. One sec. Oh, it's, it's going to be right up there somewhere. All right. This was an odd layout for Bone Crypt, but once you do Bone Crypt again, you'll, it'll be a little bit, it'll, it's randomized, but this is the general order or general layout of it. Let's go right over there. And, oh, come on, I'm following the little path. We might as well kill him off. Oh, he split, didn't matter because I've got all these guys out. Take a glance and I just make sure I've got all my minions up. I think I do. <laughs> That was the first time it really was. The first time where they just dropped. So maybe some more minion life is in order. I've got a lot of them. A lot on it. Oh, here's the here's the boss. I'll take the map off so we can see a little bit clearer. And some important stuff's going to happen here. That's the boss. Oh, yeah. He just... This minion build kills bosses so fast and easy. It's really amazing. Um, I'm just waiting to get some splash damage to add to my 
all my minions so that they actually can take on bigger packs of stuff quicker as well. So we'll take that and we're good. We've completed the map. Map complete. We got the point and I don't want to click this yet because this is the part where people get overwhelmed and we're just going to head back home and we'll do it this way. Oh, just like that. Wow, that's a big item. So let's uh, jump, dunk this in here. We got a map out of it. That's cool. Let's t let's identify this. It's the next. It's a tier two map, which is nice. Um, and that's the thing. The boss, when you kill him, um, he has a ch he has a a really good chance to um, drop a map, and you can improve the chances of maps being dropped by doing this stuff over here. And we're going to show you that. What, what did this give us? It's a rare, so all of a sudden you see the item quantity has been up to 46%. The item rarity is a plus 28. And we have four mods on there, so you just got to watch out for reflect and other things that would stand out to you that says, hey, that's really going to hurt me. Oh, right there, monster reflects 13% elemental damage. Now, the neat thing is my character, I actually built it so that uh, I don't do any damage myself so i won't die but let's say my zombies or things that are if any of my if any of my minions actually did that it will reflect on them and hurt them but i might be okay so I, i'll look forward to doing that one but i don't want to do it yet we're just going to put it on our stash and we're going to go to our map tab and now something has changed something good has changed we did the map the, the bone crypt um does it want us to talk to kirik uh, he might be in our city, or our, we might have to go invite him. Let's see if we have to invite him. Let's go see if he's back over there. And we'll go to the epilogue right here. Let's go see if he's over there. He might want to talk to us or not. Let's see. Oh, he does. So we're going to talk to him. We've done the first map. Now that you've had a glimpse of the Atlas, I haven't yet. I haven't yourself. touched that. There's a whole uncharted realm out there. Yes, there is. Just like the one you explored. Yes, yes, yes. Of strange creatures and ancient Holy cow. Nobody knows exactly what the Atlas is. There we go. Can I invite him or is he just going to be in there? Let's see. Don't Usually we can get him in there. Let's find out. We'll go to our hideout. Do I have to put him in here? Let's see. Oh, oh there he is. And oddly enough, I like him right about there because I, I sell here. I've got Lily Roth there because I can just do control left click and the cell window comes up versus doing just clicking on it and then having to push cell. She's one that if you control left clicker, the cell window comes up right away. So I like having her next to my stash. I've got the waypoint there. This is a very utilitarian uh, setup. <laughs> There's nothing fancy going on here. The expedition locker I put here and how you do that stuff. Let's say um, you want your map device there. You'd go bring up that right here edit and then decorations and then you'd search and type in map and right down there there it is uh no, that's a derelict one it would be under there and you would pick it mine's already out and then you'd place it and it's map device and you can you can move it around we can move it there we can move it here we can turn it and do anything we'll put it like just like that and then you say finished editing and there and you can move the people around where you want that way you can turn them and i have all my guys right there that i interact with even june all that stuff another uh interesting thing june is part of that syndicate stuff you'll run into her if you find items on the ground and they're veiled meaning you look at it and it's got a bunch of little squiggly lines through it all you do is you open up her, her click there drop the item in press unveil and then pick the things you want and it's random ish and then you'll get more and more crafting recipes unlocked something like this see that line where it says regenerate 200 energy shield per second while standing near a rare or unique enemy that's from crafting i found that on a veiled item i unveiled it and then you can craft it right in your 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 crafting bench uh let's see what it says so we could search for that and I don't know let's try 200 I don't know if that'll work yep oh no 200 accuracy uh, let's see 
regenerate. Regen. There we go. There's 150, 200, all these different ones, and you'll get more and more of them. That's why it's important to unveil a lot of items because that's how you get more stuff out of your crafting bench. You get really nice advanced crafting things that you can craft onto your gear. So let's go back to the stash and we're going to look at this. We're going to go to our map tab. This is why it's really important to have one because it really does help you. See that little line? That means we've completed it. We haven't completed this one. So I, at a glance, I can tell which one I haven't completed. So I'd run this one next and I just go like this. We'd take an arena map. I'd turn it into a magic map. And then I would say, there's no reflection. I'm in good shape. And I'd put it here and I'd just run it. And then I'd c come back and run the next one and the next one. And this is the reason why you want to do this. Here it is. <laughs> Here's the moment of truth. <laughs> uh, when you started the game and you saw this atlas, or this skill tree, you're like, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. But you really weren't, and at this point, you're, you you kind of get it. The first choice is only right here, here. It's not all of this. So you started saying, well, what do, what do I want? You said, okay, I want some mana. I want that. I want my minions to do more damage. I was cool with that, and, it, and you just kind of work your way through, and you kind of learn and figure it out, or you follow a, a building guide. I did not follow a build guide at all. <laughs> So uh, I just wanted to learn this minion stuff on my own. So I did. Well, here's the second one. <laughs> here we go. If we walk here, this is uh, the Atlas skill point. We got one point for completing that first map. And now we're going to get to spend that point. Here we go. <laughs> and we get another skill tree. <laughs> now this is an Atlas skill tree. Um, these, all these things affect your maps the maps that you run not like um kirik will give you a map he gave us one earlier it won't affect his if it's ran through him but um maps that we run and put in our device it would so even though we got it from him that one would, would probably affect it but stuff like um if we went over to kirik and said hey can we run some of your maps um not that way uh, oh, for a Kirk mission right here. And we clicked on him, and he's giving us these things. That wouldn't be affected by this. Uh, I could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain. Like a Blight map, I don't think that gets affected by it, certain ones. But that that's kind of advanced stuff. So you're going to be faced with this, and you've got this point to spend. And people are overwhelmed. And they're like, "What do I, I don't even know what to do. I don't know anything about anything. So... There's two things you can do. You or three. You can give up and just not spend the points and just save them and try to learn later. Some people go that route. They sit there with 15, 20, 30 points. They run a bunch of maps and they're missing out. But um, it's they can do it. I mean, it's their thing. They can still have just as much fun. Another way would be go go look online and look for a video that explains in detail. Hey, if you're gonna do this, go here or there. Well, at this point, you really You've only got a taste, you're a new player, and you've only got a taste of the content. So you really don't know, because there's really complex systems where people design it just perfectly so that they're getting just the content they want, a lot of it, and it's just designed min-max perfectly so they can earn through these maps and really get the most currency out of it. Well, that's a really advanced thing. I'm going to keep it simple for now, and you can always refund the points or... Redo it later. You're going to play probably another league, and you're going to you're going to say you're going to know so much more, and you're going to actually know. Hey, I like delve, so you'd say delve. Let's say so you just search delve, and it'll start highlighting the delve stuff. Here's delve stuff, and you'd start looking at the delve and reading the things. Here's an interesting thing on delve right over here. So let's say you worked your way up here for each point. Well, this is an interesting one. It says you gain one, plus one maximum to all to all your elemental resistances for every of one of those sulfite veins that you touch. Well, there's three in a map, so there's a way that you could force those sulfite veins to be in the map. So then you just say, okay, now my my max 
um, resistances are now would be 75 in that map if I once I touch them all. And not only that, but I get in increased damage. Um, I don't know if that would hit, help my minions. Probably not, but this would. This this would help me. 15% movement speed per um, soft light node. That's interesting. And so movement speed. I can really 45% movement speed. That would be fun. And you just click it. And now that's part of you've you've adjusted your map that way. We're gonna keep it simple at first, and then you're gonna branch out from here. We have these choices. Uh, if you like uh, the bestiary stuff, and you like fighting beasts, you'd go. You know, you might take this early on. If you like the betrayal stuff and unlocking crafts, <laughs> um, that's this is probably gonna be important to get more of that. Um, if you like strong boxes, here's strong box stuff. If you like those essences, you do that. Um, over here, there. let's say you really don't ever want to do ritual, or you don't want to do expedition, or all these things. You can actually block that. Your maps have no chance to contain ritual altars, but your maps would have a plus two chance to contain other extra content. So you can actually block a bunch of different things and just really focus it down to delve or whatever it was you wanted. Um, there's also really, as you go deeper, you're gonna you're gonna see even more interesting things. There's there's a lot. Um, let's say uh, this is one of the things, the dance of destruction. There's one on this side and one on this side. We'll check this out. Let's say you're um, a very tanky character, but you don't do much damage. You could take this. Mo uh, monsters do more damage to you, but um, they have less life. So you could kill them faster, but you don't care. They're not they're not even able to kill you. So you could take that, and then you'd be killing the monsters faster. Well, what if you're um, you get killed too easily, but you have lots of damage? Well, you could click this. You could work your way over here, kind of like that, or like that, and you could take this one and it would be um they deal less damage but they have 50 percent more life and that's the, the those are the more major nodes and then there's i mean it goes way out here i'm not going to explain all that we're going to keep it simple the very first node um i'm solo self found so i want to be able to start crafting stuff for me well essences help me craft stuff i like strong boxes those are fun I like delve stuff. Um, I know I need betrayal. I need a lot of stuff. And I can always... It's expensive, but I can undo my changes. But I know I'm going to need this, so... Let's get... I'm going to go for strong boxes at first. It's a simple choice. It's a safe choice. Those. That's a simple safe choice. Um, and not only that, but if you get essences... And your maps contain an additional essence... Well, I, I kind of like having that there. Your maps contain an additional strong box. I might even go for that one next. I want this one first, because I really want to use those to start crafting my own stuff. But not only that, if you have essences in your maps, you can actually sell them if, you, if you're if you comfortable with the trading. So we're going to go right here. I'm, d I'm not going to get overwhelmed. I'm not looking way over there. We're taking this simple. And you can undo this if need be. It's a little expensive. I think like two chaos per orb of unmaking. Um, but you can actually, they might even sell for less. I don't know. I haven't looked them up on the trade thing. Maybe a chaos each. So let's say you get 15 chaos. You can undo 15 points. It, you're going to make a lot of currency. You're going to see currency is going to be rolling in. So you'll be able to do this. Whereas right now you might only have five or six or eight uh, chaos orb. You're going to have a lot more. So we're going to take this, and we'll look at this does. 2% chance for uh, for one monster in each of your maps to drop an additional connected map. Well, what does that mean, the connected map? We're going to take it, but then we're going to find out what it means. We're going to apply the point. We're going to go right up here to our atlas like this. Now, right now, everything's hidden. And you're like, well, what is this all about? Well, right here, it's kind of neat, but... We've completed one of our 115 maps that are here available to us, which is a good thing because 
we get a point each time we complete a map. That's 115 points to, to spend on that board that we just were at. And this is the one we did. We've we've cl completed the bonus objective. It was on a... Um, we killed a boss of magic or higher version of this map. We haven't done it here, here, or here. And these are all the tier one maps. And see how it says tier one? And then, if you'll start to look, see this? We've completed that, so it, it shows us the next one. Tier two. And because this is connected, when we killed this, there's a higher chance that it'll drop one of either this one or this one. So my suspicion is when we got that map from killing that, we're going to look in our box. It should be one of these. It could be something else, but it's a low chance. So let's find out. It's going to be one of these, either primordial blocks or mineral pools. And that's how you do it. Let's say you, you, you've done all these and you're done it doing a bunch of maps. and You're like, I can't find this one. And you can't, you don't want to trade for it. You just want to find it. Well, run either this map or this map a lot, and you'll have this one drop fairly frequently. So let's go find out what we had. I'll explain this in later series. <laughs> this is going to get exp uh, this is going to get complicated, but in a good way. Uh, deep features are a good thing; they're not a bad thing. But we're keeping it simple because people get overwhelmed. They're like, "What do I do?" So here we go. Let's go look at our map. What was it? Was this one? Primordial blocks. So it did what it said it was supposed to do. So let's go do another map for fun. We're going to go like this. We're ready for another map. Did we make it blue? Because it's a tier one? Yes. Um, We could do this to it, but that would uh, we don't need to. We're going to go like this. I'm going to save this for later. Or we could just show you guys. See this? This is a one-time offer where they offer you this for free. Normally, you'd have to spend it. This is always for free. But otherwise, if you want to... Um, what this does is, if you put your map in here, and you say that, well, it does what it says it does. It, the area contains two additional essences. Normally, you might want to save that for um, a later map, maybe around a tier 5-ish map, because then may, maybe you'll get some better things. We're just going to take it now, and we'll see what we get. It'll be fun. we got to have some fun. Instead of saving, saving, saving for the most optimal time to use it. Um, same thing with uh, these things. Here's how you can force stuff in as well. If I click that, it's going to force because this is a tier uh, 1 through 5, the first tier. It's a white map. And I have a 1 here. It will force Nico to be in this map and it will force those sulfites to appear. Um, I, the problem is I won't get as much sulfite as if I ran it in a tier five map. So I want to wait for the sulfite to appear in a tier five map when I'm running a tier five instead of a tier one. So I'm not going to use it yet. I know I'm going to be running those tier five maps. I'll get more sulfite for that by doing it then. And I want more sulfite instead of less. So I'm going to wait on that. But there's all this other stuff that we could do. And it's, this is all free, free content to force into your map. And if you like um, finding beasts, we should probably do it, you know. But I, I won't do it yet. That's a, it turns up the, <laughs> the difficulty a little bit. Because those beasts in maps, they can get really tough. We'll just do this one. And the thing is, you want to turn this off on the next map. When you come and you put your next map in here, make sure you go back to here. Because otherwise, it's going to cost you uh, like a 2 chaos, I think. You don't want to do that, necessarily. I mean, you'll you'll get your money's worse back because probably you'll be able to sell those worst case scenario but um we just want the free one so let's do that and dive on in and then i'll explain kirik i could explain kirik too right now kirik you get every day you get a free mi mission from him right now we already have one and there's ways you can get more than one a day but he gives you free missions so you look at him and you would say, okay, what do we got here? Well, he's offering us six um, missions, but we get to pick only one of these. So we look at the bottom down there and we say, oh, well, there's a lot to it. First, we look at the bottom thing where it says find rare maps down here. Um, it'll, it'll actually have rare maps in this map if we run it. That's interesting. Uh, this one as well. And open a smuggler's cache. 
So there'll be a smuggler's cache or heist in this map if we run it. Rare map, divination cards. Okay, those are the div cards are nice. And then a blight encounter, which is the tower defense content. So if you want it, you like tower defense and you're ready for it, you could run this one. Um, right now, I'm going to save this. I'm not going to run any of these. But the neat thing is, each time you run it, he'll reset this thing. And when he resets it, he looks at your atlas and he tries to offer you maps that you haven't ran yet so that you can help. He helps you complete your uh, your atlas. And how you can easily find that is hold down your alt key and hover over it and see how it says in the top up there incomplete incomplete well let's say it'll, these will all be complete and then you're like ah there's one i haven't completed yet i don't have it and i want to run it and you can run it from him and you can complete the things that way there's a few more things to this but in general that's how you do this but let's say he offered a uh, harvest well a harvest is a very expensive thing to have in your map to get in there but if he's offering it to you for free might as well take it and go into harvest and get it for free but we're not going to do it through Kyrick. We're, to, we're just going to do this one. And we're going to have an essence in it. Make sure when you put your next map in there to take that off. Unless you want to spend the two chaos or whatever the cost is. It would be nice if they set it back automatically for you. Let's activate it and dive on in. If you have any questions about this stuff in the comments, just let me know. Um, I'm, I'm happy to answer the questions. Um, I'm trying to speak clearly and concisely i know it's important you know i I'm, i watch these videos and i want to hear the person speak clearly and concisely it's a little difficult because i make a lot of videos and my voice trails off sometimes let's dive in and if you like this go ahead and hit a like uh subscribe or comment thing i uh i forget to say that and i should say that i think i should uh basically when you hit those it says do more of this content and i do more of that content so here we go uh, we're in, and this is the arena. Let's go and have some fun. And... Oh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> oh, God. I'm a little scared. I'm used to being a melee guy right, right up in the thick of things, loving it. And now I'm over here. Oh, our... We actually lost a zombie. I'm going to have to get my... My character, my uh, creatures, a little more uh, defense. I can get it though. And did I actually lose a? I lost one of my s specters and everything. But these two guys are alive. How much health do these guys have? Twenty-four thousand health, my guy. <laughs> I've been taking a lot of uh, defensive nodes on my uh, minions and golems, and I have two golems too. It's a lot of fun. Uh oh, what was going on over here? I might as well kill these guys. It's a lot. It's a free shot at loot. And if you want, you can just burn through and just aim for the boss and not really care about all this. It's your choice. Have as much fun as you want. I like killing a lot of stuff, so. Uh-oh, something dropped. No? Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out um, how to defend my uh, zombies and my... Oh my minions a little better oh i'm got a, a blood thing on me but my steel skin removed it for me uh, and what do we get humility ta oh i think i've got three or four tabula rasas not that i'm in a i really shouldn't be wearing that but it's a six link and i, I might have to because <laughs> i do not have a six i've got two four links that's not good <laughs> but that's solo self found for you I should have found one already. At least a five link. I just had bad luck. But uh, my defenses are... And my armor is terrible. I don't have any evasion. No spells. Suppression. But so far so good. Stay out of the fire. Uh, my guys are living... Oh, are you kidding me? We didn't just... That was the boss. <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> There's still a lot more creatures in here though. And do I want to pick up? I'll pick up the smaller stuff. The boots. That was the boss. I didn't even notice. Sorry, guys. Stuff was happening. Is there a way out to find more creatures? Let's find out. Yeah, probably down these stairs. Usually it's not like two doors in. I didn't mean to go right to the boss. 
Oh, there's some gloves. I'll take those because they're smaller. And I, it would it would alert me to, it would alert me to um, other stuff. Uh, if it was um, four linked or five linked, it would make a sound. And maybe my loot filter is hiding it all from me. That's why I haven't found anything. It's not really though. It's just my bad luck. Whoa. And oh, ooh, here's oh the essences. I didn't want to miss those. So if I would have left, I would have missed these essences. Three voices. Let's see. Ooh, three essences. If I find two more of them, we get three essences. There's a divine life. We'll probably use that just to roll it and see what we can get. By roll it, I mean I would turn it into this. And it might be something great, like an insta-heal. That's the other thing. I'm sorry. I should have mentioned this. I have an insta-heal potion that gets back um, that... 1400 when I'm low on life so if I panic you want a panic potion you don't want a potion that you know you're being killed and you want your health back fast so I have a regular potion and a panic potion even my regular potion is kind of set up that it it gets a lot of health back in like a second the other one is instant and oh we got to do this uh there should be another one too let's uh get our skeletons down drop over here muttering um muttering not wailing but muttering helps us a lot for uh for minion builds and oh let's find out what these guys have well easy i know they want to kill me and there that was my oh i've got i had blood on uh, i was bleeding those little orbs above my head but my uh this thing steel skin removed it for me now the bad thing is steel skin can pop off then i'd get a bleed on me and then four seconds later i'm dead but then at four and a half seconds my steel skin would have gone off <laughs> so i'm living on the edge with that there is a way you can get um on a jewels like on your jewels like this oh am, am i gonna die nope <laughs> um you can roll you know get a jewel socket and then get a jewel to roll and you might get like um one of the mods are cannot be cor uh, inflicted with corrupted blood that's a way to get take care of corrupted blood for good that's a nice way to do it i haven't found that yet but and i and i don't have enough currency to roll and and get it by that way so it's a little tough right now what i could do is um roll it with um alteration shards and then oh we got an effigy thing on us and oh we'll take the map Waste? What, what level is that one? Another level two. Tier two. I was saying something, but I forgot. <laughs> oh, the corrupted blood. I could alteration spam it. The jewel until I got it, and then maybe regal it up to um, a rare and hope for some good uh, rolls with it. That's one way I could do it, and I probably will end up doing that. Let's open this up. And jump over here and fire all these guys at it. And I've got... Um, I have summon skeleton. Oh, wait a second. This one. Spell echo so that I can get two of my uh, summon raging things out at the same time instead of one. And I think that we did it. That was the two. Uh, that was the two essences. I think we've pretty much cleared. No, there's still 50 monsters left. Let's go take a peek around. Might as well. Nope. Where's the way through? I don't think it's this way. That goes to that. There's 50 monsters somewhere. There's also a way with instilling orbs to make these auto auto use. So I I, I like playing lazy. So um, I want it just every time it fills up, push sprint for. Oh, it's back there. Push sprint for me or stuff like that. And let's see if it's this way. Maybe it's up here. And let's go through here. Let's go find out. Oh, oh, I see a spot. And that's why I have the map of uh, zoomed in or out, whatever you want to call it, but I, so I can see more of the map. I don't want it really big on my screen. Oh, you've got to make it oh, right here. Oh, is this just going to connect over to this one? I don't like this map that much, I don't think. <laughs> We've done the two essences that were guaranteed guaranteed to be in here. We've done the boss. We've got it complete. 
let's wrap it up. I don't have to sit there and search around and find out where... He, those other guys, the other 50 monsters are around here somewhere. No big deal. Let's, uh, we could, uh, we could also just press escape and go back this way. And then you save a, a town portal, which is essentially a, um, a wisdom scroll. Because I sell them for wisdom scrolls because I ID a lot of stuff. So we're going to depot again. And I think this is, this should have helped you as far as just the basics. The basics go, um, a dump tab. You want to have a dump tab and deal with stuff at, um, you don't want to sit there and do a single, a single run and then sit there and looking through and everything. You want to do a bunch of runs and then take your, take a break and go through your, the loot. Um, that's the most efficient way because then you're thinking about loot. You're fighting, then thinking about loot, then fighting, then thinking about loot and what compares to what. Otherwise you're doing some fighting, looking at your loot, doing some fighting, looking at your loot. It's not, it, it, it's more efficient this way. So with that, I think we've covered the basics. Um, we got another point to spend. We want to make sure before I spend that point, I want to go to our map tab and I'm going to right click on it because of the map tab is now more important. I'm going to move it to the second most important spot. I just right click, it moves it up there and then drag it over. Um, you also want to make sure your affinities are set so that um, like on this tab, if you have it, these two are the most important to buy the currency and the map tab. Those are the first two everyone should buy you want to have your currency affinity set because then if you have a bunch of these and you're over here on your recipe tab or something like that and you click it it'll get sent it knows where to send it it sent it there for you it's a really important thing to use um in the next episode maybe i'll explain the recipe and i'm in solo self found so i actually use this recipe if you sell an unidentified item a rare item from like level 62 item level up to like 78 I think somewhere around there if you sell a two-hander a body armor a belt uh, a head gloves feet amulet and two rings you'll get two chaos back and I actually need chaos because there's there's crafting recipes that cost a lot and I don't I didn't have the I didn't have chaos. They weren't dropping. So, um, and also if you're in the trade league and you need five, six, eight chaos, well, you're all that. It's right here anyways in my dump tab. Well, there's something, let's see, on a, there's part of it. There's almost a, two chaos just sitting here if I just put it in the right collection and sold it at in the right order. So it's there. It just takes a little bit of time. Now, as you're, as you're progressing, you shouldn't be doing the chaos recipe anymore. Like after, you know, if you're, you'll progress and you'll be getting more loot that makes that a waste of time. But at first you might need it. So it's not that big a deal. Let's spend our next point. I want more of these. Um, I want, I actually, I want these and these in my maps. So it's going to ma make mapping more fun for me. So I'm going to force it to be in there. Imprison monsters in your maps have a 25% chance to drop an additional rare item with an essence modifier. Okay. And same thing. And what what's on this side? Cool. And that's the one where it forces one to be in there. We'll apply it. And that's the plan. I'm just going to get this and this. And I know I want to unlock more crafting options. So I'm going to get a little bit of this. I like delving. I might go up there and get that. Um, uh, the Kirik missions, you can type in Kirik and see what he gives you. But even as you move and spend these points, these little travel nodes like this, like this one, it's a 2% chance uh, for one monster in each of your maps to drop an additional connected map. It, these add up. All of a sudden, you'll get it to 50 60%. And... It's maps are starting to drop more and more often and you'll be able to easily sustain your progression in the Atlas and it, and they all add up over here. You can see like we've got these two things. So this all as you add more and more to your Atlas, it'll it'll tell you what's going on over there. I think this is a good 
not overwhelming ish uh, intro, and this is just the episode one and episode two. Um, I will explain more, but my next move is to finish off the tier one maps. There's that line. Um, it's done, so I need to do this one and this one. So let's drag that over there. Um, I'm going to turn it into a magic item, otherwise I won't get credit for finishing the, the, uh, the bonus objective and getting the point. Um, this one does monsters deal extra as cold, that'll be fun. And they made me. <laughs> but that's, that's, a, that's a chunk, but it gives us, because of those are kind of chunky um, mods, they give us more items, they, they make up for it, they give us... They give you. They have. They up the chances of dropping things. And let's see if we. Oh, it did set it back to there. Now, if I want more essences in there, and that's expensive for me right now, I could force essences to be in there by clicking like that. And if you want, and you wanted to do bestiary stuff, um, you wanted beast to be here, and I just click that. If I wanted my, t because I have one, and this is a white map. I have one across here. If I want the temple stuff with um, Alva. I could do that. If I wanted Sulfite, I could click that because I have one. And these things, these get rewarded quite often. You'll have, these are rewarded during the maps and uh, these get rewarded too. So you'll have more of these, not just one. And this one is the syndicate stuff with June where you're going to be unveiling stuff and getting rewards. That's important as well. So I'll take that out. And I think this is a good point to wrap it up. If you have any questions, uh, ask away and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, I do 100% realize this is a, I mean, look at this. I'm not even using this. I'm working on, I really just want a five or a six link. And then I can just really make this more uh, uh, nicer. <laughs> but I'll say that because this is a mess, but it's working. It's working. It's got the basics. It's got the resistances. It's got the life. Uh, and the movement speed. So that's half the battle. And then progressing is just getting stronger, better. I do want to get my, um, my minions some more health. Um, so I'll look if there's anything close on the map, minion wise, or on my skill tree, minion wise for health. Um, I kind of, I didn't think they were going to need that. So I took this more damage thing. Um, maybe I'll end up with, more like uh, maybe I'll get that next <laughs> soon and that'll be more life more and more and more I don't want them dying I, I don't I liked it when they weren't dying at all and now they actually died a couple times which is surprising don't die you guys and I oh there's other things I could craft I want to be able to start crafting more stuff onto my gear that makes my minions stronger and tankier as well so with that have a good one and enjoy Thanks, guys. I have fun making this. Whew, lots to it. Have a good one.